Okay, I don't think this gonna work. Hold on, y'all. Stay there, I'm coming. I gotta get the tripod situated. I gotta get the makeshift tripod situated. Okay, that's better. Since YouTube only lets you uh I hope I can get the messages from here, from this phone. If not, I'm going to be upset. We got two things we want to talk about today. And then, if it's things after that, it's fine. But let's get these two things together first. Let me let me get this person together before I block them. I want them to be able to, you know, if you want to tell your story, we here. And then I'll block you. Hey, Lady Hathor. Hey, uh, Christine. We are here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started, and some people are late. They're just late. And people are going to be late because the, um, you know how the notifications are. We, and we can't do nothing to fix that. So, that's that. So, on a post on the um on my community wall i'm going back to to get the post because that's where the comments are and i want to um i want to make sure that i get the you know that you get the context so on, on a post on a community wall, I wrote, this is exactly why I'm careful. No, not that part. Not that part. Not that one. You about to take a shower? I'm about to. Dang. You knocked down my hole. You knocked the whole phone down. You can't do that out there. You knocked the whole studio over. That's why I'll be glad when um when um the little stuff that was in there. I'll feed him. I'll feed him again. So, when I had posted this picture of the young lady that is missing, is her name on here? No, they didn't even post her name. When I posted this picture about the young lady that was missing, and she's not black. She is Hispanic. Her entire family that got up at the press conference were Hispanic. Her grandmother didn't even speak English. At the press conference, she was speaking Spanish, so clearly this young lady is Hispanic, but she is a person of color. I said, I wonder will she get the media coverage that Gabby did? Will she be America's sweetheart and daughter? That was my 
comment above the picture. So, I got a comment from somebody named Lee Ripley. Lee said, why would she? Please don't say what I think you're going to say. So I said, what do you think I'm going to say? Because I want to know, you know, I'm not one of those people. I, I can't read your mind and I don't want to jump to conclusions. When you want to say something to me, just come on out and say it. Hey, Phoenix, glad you're here. I'm going into the story about this, whoever Lee Ripley is going to say. So I said, what do you think I'm going to say? And the person, I'm assuming it's a she. It could be a he. Who knows? Do you really not know? And I said, no. I can't read your mind. S say what you want to say. So the person said, maybe I'm assuming that you are going to throw because she's black in. I'm sorry if you didn't mean it. But I'm so tired of hearing that shit. So I said, so you tired of black people being honest and seeing things or speaking on things that need to change? Ma'am, because I'm assuming this is a woman, you're on the wrong damn channel. Because if you're tired of black people speaking their mind, I'm about to make you very sick on the next live. And she came back and said, how come when white speak their mind, we are some kinds of people. Neither one should be spouting off. We are no better than each other, whatever color we are. But why were you sick of hearing black and brown and people of color want to be represented just like everyone else in the media? And why would you come to the channel of a black person and say, not I'm tired of it, but I'm sick of this shit. That's one of the most racist statements I have heard. I'm sick of you black people. Every time something happened, y'all want to talk. I'm sick of this shit. That's how your ancestors were. When it was time for voting rights, when it was time for civil rights, I'm sick of these black people saying something every time something comes up. No, this person is not a troll. This is not a troll. This is a real person. Like, this legit a real person. This is legit how she feels. And I just want to know, like, why do you even come on channels of black people and, you know, oh, well, you know, I was, I, I was watching you, but now, you know, I'm not even going to keep watching you anymore because she goes on to say, LOL, wow, I actually was sub to you. Yes, a white woman. Okay, so it is a woman. I liked you. And explained, I have heard so many times racist stuff coming from not just white people. I said, I'm tired of it. That's not what you said, though. You know, now she wants to kind of clean, clean it up and say that that's not what I meant when I said I'm tired of the shit. Um, oh, I was really sub to you. Why? Because you clearly don't like black people. You clearly don't like the issues of black people. You clearly have no understanding that black people do get tired of seeing white people in the media treated differently from us. You don't understand that. You know why? Because you've never had to deal with it. Your white privilege has always kept you from this shit. The same shit that you're tired of, 
your white privilege has blessed you. So you know that it won't happen to you. It will never happen to you or your blonde, eye, blonde haired, blue eyed child. It won't happen to y'all. But it will happen to me. And you didn't even take enough time to realize that this young girl that's missing ain't even black. She's Hispanic. But she is still a person of color. I don't even understand why white people, this, this is one of the reasons why I'm very careful about my teachings. I'm very, very careful now about the information that I give because everybody on here ain't my friend. It's still a whole lot of white people that will just follow you just to see what you're doing. And deep down inside, they still be on that racist bullshit. For real, for real. You still a racist. You don't want to admit it, but you are. You're still a racist. You want black people to stay in their place. And as long as I can find a black person that's staying in their place, I can kind of agree with them. But, you, but when you step out of your place, don't you do that, girl? Then there's a problem. Oh, I used to follow you. You can go out the door you came in. That door is always open. It's revolving. You can go right out that sucker. Because, see, you're not for me or my people anyway. So there's really no reason for you to be here. It's not. It's not. It's, there's no reason for you to be here because you clearly have an issue with black people. You don't want you 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 want to be cool with black people as long as they're not bringing up you know racial issues. Don't talk about you. One of them white people that want to have black friends, but the minute they start talking about Black Lives Matter or anything that's going, I don't know. Well, you know that's that's just too much. I don't think we should talk. About, that's the, no. Then that means you don't like black people. You don't. Hey, Tina, Tina. You have an issue with black people. You don't have any support for black people because if you don't understand that there are thousands of missing black and women of color and men of color that go missing every day and do not get the media coverage that Gabby got. If you don't understand that, it's because you don't want to. And you think that the media coverage that Gabby got was right, and it was not. Gabby is no different from anybody else. Gabby wasn't even famous on YouTube. She, Gizmo. Cut it out. Gabby had one video on YouTube. One. She wasn't even famous on YouTube. She had one video. This girl was unknown until this shit happened. And you would have swore that this was Emma Chamberlain or somebody. And Emma Chamberlain, if you don't know her, she's one of the biggest young white YouTubers on this platform. You would have swore Gabby was her with the media attention that she received. Gabby was just a regular girl. And now that this happened to her, she is all of a sudden America's sweetheart, the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, she's teaching. She has left her footprint on the world. How? How? How has that happened? Just because she was in a toxic relationship, and something happened between her and her boyfriend, which, yes, was horrible. But she is no different from any young black girl or any young girl of color that goes missing in America. If they going to give Gabby 24-hour media coverage, millions of dollars worth of FBI time, then they should give that to Every damn body that goes missing. Everybody. 
It's people outside of Brian's parents' house picketing with bullhorns, screaming at them people day and night and everything. That don't happen for nobody else. That's vigilante justice. These people are out here being vigilantes for someone that they didn't even know. None of these damn people knew Gabby. No one knew Gabby until this happened. And now she's an angel. She's a princess. She's America's daughter. She's, you know, they didn't put her up on. God damn, I'm pretty sure they're going to make a whole sculpture and everything. A park dedicated to her and everything before all this is over. And no, she don't deserve that any more than anybody else's child that went missing and was found deceased. Everybody coming out the wood, dog the bounty hunter that crawled up out of his grave. I thought he, I seriously thought that he died. I don't know why I thought that, but I really thought that dog the bounty hunter had died, child. He didn't crawled his wig wearing ass up from under a rock. Him and uh that wash uh guy and his his little boy uh was kidnapped in like the 70s. John Walsh. Hit oh his wife. Okay, girl, I knew somebody died, child. I thought he died too. I don't know why. I thought he, I knew his wife had died. I thought he died too. John Walsh, his son was kidnapped, um, I think in the 70s or, it had to be the 70s because I was really young when it happened. His little boy was kidnapped from um, a clothing store in um, a while later, they, they found him in a motel or something. So I know that he has been um, fighting for a missing and exploited children, but I ain't never seen him go this hard for nobody black. Oh, his son's name was Adam. I couldn't remember. I ain't never seen him go this hard for nobody black when nobody black was missing. Now, I could have missed it. I ain't going to say he didn't. But I don't remember seeing anybody go this hard all outside Brian's parents' house. Like, his parents can't even go to the grocery store. They can't They can't do nothing. They getting their groceries delivered. Yeah, I, I know they only found... I thought they found his head in a hotel or something. I know that was the only thing that they found. I didn't want to say that because that's, you know... That was really sad to me. Like when that happened, I remember being young and that was the first time that I I remember that being the first time that I really understood that there are some bad people in this world. When they came back and said that they had only found his head. That's when I really realized there are some bad people in this world. Yeah, he was in, oh, okay, he was in, I was in 81? Like, that was right before I got, I thought I was younger than that. Okay. But that's when I really understood, okay, it's some really, really bad people in this world. So, his old ass then jumped on the case. Dog the bounty hunter. I thought it happened in the 70s because I remember being young. I didn't think I was in high school. Okay, so I was 10 when it happened. I was 10. I, I knew it happened in a clothing store. It was Sears. Okay. Um, I know I was young. And I know that it kind of scared me. Like, really. Because I was like, if they... You know, because the news even said, you know, that all they found was, like, his head and stuff. And I was like, oh, my God. 
Like, there's people out here chopping people's heads off. But he's on the case. Dog the Bounty Hunter um, is on the case. People are outside um, Brian's. Oh, Adam was born in 1974. But he was only like seven. Okay, so wasn't he only seven? Okay. Okay, then it was 81. Because I think he was like six or seven when it happened. Um, um, people are outside Brian's um, parents' house. Like, the parents can't do anything. Like, I haven't seen this happen for anybody else. Nobody. Even when that husband killed his wife and the two kids, was she pregnant when he killed her? I know they had two little girls. He killed her, and then he took the little girls to some kind of oil refinery or something and put them in a container. I don't think people went that hard, was like all out in front of the house. and But they found him. They knew it was him, though. And that house is, their house is still empty. No one wants to, no one wants to purchase that house. That house is, is still um, empty. I don't know why the family won't sell it. Well, Probably because no one wants to buy it. Because they think that the wife was... Not Scott Peterson. Scott Peterson is the one that killed his wife and she was pregnant. That's the one he threw his wife in the water and she washed up and they got him. I'm talking about that other dude that killed his wife and the two kids. The two little girls. Um... They both in jail. Threw her in the bucket. He threw her in the bucket of cement. And then he threw the little girls in a bucket of oil, didn't he? I think from Colorado, yeah. But they, they didn't go that hard for them. But maybe... No, they were missing for a little while. They didn't find the, the two little kids right away. Drew. Drew. That's what I'm talking about. Um, both of their last name was Peterson. I don't feel like looking it up because my phone is heck of slow. Um, I just, you know, this, and I think since they had Gabby's funeral, is dying down. The attention. Is kind of dying down some. They still looking for Brian, but I think the FBI has even, you know, that's like a needle in a haystack looking for him. They don't know where he is. They don't have a clue where this man is. Okay, y'all just throwing out all kind of names. Chris Watts. Let me find it. Because now I'm confused. Yeah, that's him. That's him. He killed his wife and the two kids. The two little girls. Chris Watts. Hush! Give me. Chris Watts. Admitting to murdering his pregnant wife, Shannon Watts, by strangulation. He later admitted to killing their daughters, four-year-old Bella and three-year-old Celeste, 
by smothering them with a blanket over their heads. That's why don't nobody want to buy that house. Because he probably killed all three of them in the house. Don't nobody want to live there? And somebody said they should just go ahead and tear that house down. But it looks like it's in a, um, you know, like a development like where we live. And they're not about to be just, they're not going to have no empty lot. Because some people were saying, well, they should tear the house down and make a park right there. But they're, the Homeowners Association don't want no in-memory park of someone. They should just tear the house down and just rebuild a brand new home. That's what they should do. Just start all over again fresh. Because no one wants that house, I don't think. It's empty. So, let me go back to this woman. Lee. Because I'm pretty sure Lee watching. But Lee, Lee don't have the enough confidence to say anything. And Lee, you, you can talk. Girl, we ain't going to stop you from talking. You can talk. You know, because you, you was bold enough to say that you sick of the shit. So just come on out, Lee, and tell us everything you sick of. You sick of nappy hair. You sick of big lips. What? What you sick of, Lee? You just sick of black people, period. You sick of Black Lives Matter. You sick of the whole racial thing. We should all be one. But if we are all one, then why can't we all be treated the same? Oh, we should all be one. We shouldn't even talk about race. But race exists in the U.S. It's real out here in these streets. Lee, it's hard being black. And y'all don't want to accept that. Black people are treated differently than whites in America. People of color are treated differently. Do you know that black people didn't even have a damn black superhero until... Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Black Panther. Lee, swallow that. In the Marvel Universe or the DC Universe, there was not a black... There may have been a black sidekick, but Black Panther is no one's sidekick. He stands alone. There wasn't even a... You couldn't even give us a black superhero. And that ain't even real life. That's comic book shit. And that extends to Asian Americans. They just now get name props in movies, cartoons. And you act. It's no such thing as nothing's going on. We are all the same people. No, the hell we not. We are not all the same people. We don't get treated the same. That's why people are protesting now, girl. It's a lot of stuff coming out about how the media treats people of color. When things like this happen. If Gabby had been a black girl, she would never have gotten all of this media attention. Never. And if she had gotten attention, they would have talked about her daddy was in jail. Her, well, her mama was a crackhead. <clears throat> well, she got bad grades in high school. She wasn't really that great of a student. They would have dug into her family's background. Now, she missing, but they'd have told her ass to shreds. We don't know nothing about Gabby's mama or daddy. 
Not a damn thing. We don't know where they work. We don't know what they do for a living. The only reason why we know where her parents live is because of where they had her funeral. And something had to be going on with Gabby because Gabby didn't even live with her mama or daddy. Gabby was living with the boyfriend's parents. Y'all quick to put people on a pedestal just because they're white. But it has always worked like that. Even the police officer. Some of y'all need to go back and look at that uh, camera footage from the stop that the police officers made. One of the police officers said out loud with his own damn mouth. I don't want to put a 110-pound, blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl in jail. Was she out here fighting? She done scratched the shit out of Brian's face and punching him and admitted it and everything. If the police come to my house and I admit I punched the shit out of my husband and scratched the hell out of him, they are going to put handcuffs on me, drag me out the house, throw me in the back of the police car. They're not going to ask me if I'm thirsty, if the air conditioning is up high enough or nothing. They're going to drag my ass to jail. But, honey, Gabby got the, oh, did you... You want something to drink? You need some water? Oh, sit back here and relax. We're going to turn the air conditioner on. It was just the way she was treated. We all deserve that same treatment. But see, when the police pull us over, we so damn scared. Do you know that I have PTSD from driving? Because the city that I live in is, all, you know... Because don't nothing really go on in this city. The police just be out riding around a lot of them. I'm scared of them. I'm scared of making a mistake when I'm out driving by myself. I am literally afraid of the police. I'm just scared that I may do the wrong thing and they pull me out the car and beat me up or something. And lie and say that I resisted. But white women don't have that fear. White men, y'all don't have that fear. Because you have the luxury of being white. They're not going to drag you out the car. They're not going to hit you. Because they know better. They fucking know better. Than to hit you. But they don't care about hitting me. They will knock me the hell out. And then lie and say I resisted. So, um, Lee, I don't, I don't give a damn if you don't want to be here. I don't care. I don't want you here anyway. I don't want people on my channel that don't understand how black people are treated differently from y'all. You have a level of privilege that we will never have. And if you don't understand that, you shouldn't be here. I don't give a damn about you, girl. Because you don't care about me or my people. You don't care. Oh, I just want to be entertained. I want to be entertained by you. I want to come over and listen to what you have to say. You're funny. Ha -ha, I want to laugh. But when it comes to real issues, no, girl, you're doing too much now. I don't want to hear that shit. Get your ass off this channel then, girl. Because this what go on over here. We talk about white folks. And if I step on your toe, take them shoes off, massage your feet, and come back and get some more. Because I'm not ever going to stop. I done hurt a whole lot of white people's feelings, and I don't give a damn. Okay? I don't. I don't care. If your feet get stepped on over here, oh, well, you, you should have tucked them up under your ass. 
to keep them from getting stepped on. And if your feet get stepped on, you must be doing the shit that I'm talking about for you to get mad. Lee, you ain't gonna like me no more, girl. You not. You not gonna like me, girl. You probably shouldn't come back over here. Because you not gonna like me. I'm gonna make you not like me. I am. I want to at this point. Because I don't know why you was over here anyway. Oh, yeah. I know they are, Phoenix. I know that a lot of them are. I know a lot of the wives go through that. Yeah, Lee, I'm pretty sure they have a whole bunch of channels on YouTube that can't stand black people. Girl, you need to go over there and find some of them. Go where your people at. Because your people not over here. Ain't nobody over here sick of hearing about black issues. We, we're not tired of that. We, we live in it every day. We can't get tired of it, girl. And we can't get, we can't be quiet. We're not going to be quiet, Lee. So if you keep coming over here, you, you're going to get your feelings hurt. Or you're going to get irritated. Because Lee says she's sick of that shit. <laughs> how you come to, how do you even fix your, see, that is where your privilege is. How do you fix your face to tell a black person? that you are sick of hearing them talk about race. Ow. How, how you do that, girl? How do you tell? But I'm sick of hearing about that shit. I don't want to hear it no more. Well, go somewhere where you don't have to hear it, girl, over there with the white folks. Go over there with them. Because I'm pretty sure they talking, how, how black people get on my nerves? Yeah, they get on mine too. <laughs> Go over there, girl. Because we're not going to shut up over here. We're we going to talk about you. I'm going to talk about you till I get tired, Lee. Till I get tired. And Lee said, oh, well, yeah, you just give me some attention. I sure will. I'm going to give you some attention today, Lee. I sure am, because we're not going to shut up, girl, and I want everybody to know that, you know, everybody that comment on your channel, and, oh, oh, I like you, girl, until you start talking that Black Lives Matter shit. I like you. Until you defend yourself, then you're another one of those. You're another one of those uppity Negroes. That was your ancestors, girl. Lee, that was your ancestors who couldn't stand to see black people dressed up, you know, minding their own business. Lee, I bet you your ancestors was one of the people that destroyed Black Wall Street. I bet you them was your ancestors, Lee. Tan up black folk stuff. You know why? Because they can't stand to see no uppity Negroes. Them was your ancestors, Lee. I bet you they was. You you need to go back and research and see was your ancestors part of the people that was tearing up Black Wall Street. Go do that while you worried about what I'm talking about, Lee. Go research who your ancestors were and what they were doing. For you to have that level of hatred in 2021... I bet you 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 got you got some horrible ancestors. Go find out who they were, Lee. Go do that. Why you worried about what these black folks over here talking about? And then they gonna ask you, well, what was you over there watching them black folks for anyway? Why you over there bothering them? Lee, I ain't the one for you to play with, okay? Because I don't play nice. 
See, that's the problem. I have been nice. I done dropped my guard down. And I done let y'all believe that I'm going to take anything that you say. Because I've been so nice for the past year. But it's in me, Lee. Like my mama say, sometimes I wake up with my habit on me. And I woke up this morning with my habit on me. And I had to jump on you, Lee. Lee had them, Lee had them old cracker ancestors. She, Cause she got that mentality. She has that mentality. I will talk to you as long as you don't talk about something that I don't want to hear. Cause I'm sick of hearing that shit. Like it, it take a lot to come on somebody's channel and tell them, I'm sick of that shit. Oh, wait a minute. Then she said, you are stupid. White people take a lot of crap from you. High and didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? You are stupid. White people take a lot of crap from you high and mighties. Let go of the past. You are no different than anyone else. We are all people. You are one mad black Karen. You are funny as hell. How, girl? When you said white people take a lot of crap from you high and mighties. I told you she was one of them can't stand you uppity Negroes. I told you. Didn't I... I just went, she watching the video because she just typed this 30 minutes ago. She watching. I told y'all she was one of those, you uppity Negroes, I can't stand you. No, girl, it's, it's in the, um, it's on the community, it's on the community, uh, tab. It's on the community tab, girl, under the last, uh, the last thing that I posted on the community tab. Girl, go look it. It's right there because I'm not going to delete it. She said, I'm stupid. White people take a lot of crap from you high and mighties. See? See? She said, I'm funny as hell. I'm funny and you're racist. White people take a lot of crap from you high and mighties. That's it. I like you until you step out of your place. When you step out of your place, I don't like you. You a uppity Negro. And I can't stand a uppity Negro. I need you to stay in your place. And if you don't, I'm, I'm going to say something about it. I can't believe in 2021, some white person referred to me as a high and mighty in 2021. I can't make this shit up. I can't. I cannot make this up. Yeah, Demona Jones said, Bonjour, Mademoiselle, and to all in the chat, we need to keep pressing black issues and speaking on things that affect us that make some uncomfortable. They can just be uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't care about your uncomfortability. And the, the thing is, is this young lady that is missing is not even black. She's Hispanic, but she's a person of color. Oh, and her case, 
the person of interest in her case was the maintenance man that worked for the apartment complex that she worked at. He used the master key to go into her apartment. And she has not been seen since. And he killed himself. They found him deceased. And so, from last I heard, they had not found her. And I don't see no FBI, no coverage on CNN, no coverage from any of the other YouTubers. I did see one YouTuber talking about her. But major coverage, like Gabby, no. Hell no. Nah. Why? Because she's a person of color. Her parents are some immigrants. They don't even speak English. That's what, you know, people are who look at her situation, that's what they see. I ain't looking for her. Let our, let our people look for her. That's how America is. This young lady will never be America's sweetheart. When they find her, if they find her deceased, I bet you they're not going to, oh, she was America's sweetheart. She was such an angel. You know, people, oh, she was an angel. I could just look at her and tell she, you ain't met her a day in your life. You don't know this girl. But because something happened to her, she's an she was she was such an angel. She was an angel down here on earth. And God took her. God called her home. This is a beautiful flower plucked from the earth. If you don't shut up, none of us know her. We don't know what happened. We don't have a clue. Oh, Hummingbird. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hummingbird said, how many white people are on here right now besides me? Let's have a conversation. Let's. Raise your hand if you're white. Put 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 your put your hand up if you white. I ain't gonna block you. I just want to know how you feel. You know, let's keep it let's keep it one hundred. Cause you know I am. I am definitely gonna keep it one hundred. And I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I don't hate Lee. But I see Lee for who she is. I see Lee for who she is. I don't hate her. I don't hate anybody. I don't have any, any hatred in my heart for anybody. Just because I call you, you out on your shit don't mean I hate you. And that's what people need to understand. Just because I keep it 100 and call you out on your shit don't mean I hate you. I hate your actions. But I don't hate you as a person. I can separate you as a human from your thought processes and stuff. I don't hate you. Now, we ain't friends. I ain't your friend. We're we going to keep it real on that level, too. I'm definitely not your friend. But I don't hate you. Because I don't harbor hatred. But I'm going to keep it real. I know what's really going on. I'm not going to lie to myself. And I'm not going to let you lie to me. Because I know what's going on. I knew it from your comment. I could tell who you were by your comment. When you said that, I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of hearing about it because it's real, real. Now, this is day two of 
people protesting here in California because one of the newscasters was fired. Well, he was suspended indefinitely because he wanted to talk about the disparities between black and white. He wanted to talk about Gabby's case, but he wanted to talk about how Gabby has received way more news media um, coverage than people of color. Now, we're here in California, so we don't have a damn thing to do with the case. You know, like we're just, they're just covering it here in California. It's not like we're in Florida or New Jersey. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's getting more coverage there than it is here in the Bay Area. But of course, you know, the Bay Area, me, if y'all hear that, I'm not going to get up and close my window. That's the guys out there cleaning up in the front. Um, I'm pretty sure she's getting more coverage in Florida because the boyfriend's family is in Florida. And then I think her parents are in New Jersey or whatever. So I'm pretty sure they're getting more coverage there. But of course, you know, because it's a big story, the Bay Area is going to cover it. So he wanted to cover the story, but he wanted to add that part to it. And the newsroom was like, no. And so he got into a heated discussion with the producer and the other anchor, which must have gotten out of hand to the point where they suspended him. So now people here in the Bay Area are picketing at the news station to get him reinstated. That's why they get away with so much. Girls that look like her be moving weight nationally and internationally. And let her actually meet some uppity black folks. They'll make her feel like the nothing she is. Girl, I'm not even uppity like that. I'm not even uppity. But I am, though. Because if she saw where I live, she would probably have a fucking heart attack. Lee don't like no uppity black folks. You better keep your mouth shut. You gotta keep your mouth shut, black girl. Who told you you can talk? Lee, did you know that they actually let me go to college, girl? They let me go to college, Lee. And I graduated. I went to college, girl. You couldn't stop that? Lee, I worked around your people. Ignorant ass. Up in there, Negro, you. Honey, Lee feelings hurt. Lee out here punching the air. She probably telling her husband. I can't believe that uppity Negro had the audacity to make a video about me. <laughs> That's why YouTube shouldn't let black people on. They always do too much. <laughs> I bet you Lee mad as hell. I bet you Lee hot. Lee probably on the phone talking to all her little friends and everything. Yeah, this black woman on YouTube with her black, black, itty black, black, black self. Honey, Lee didn't call all her friends. She probably didn't call me every racist, derogatory, black term she could think of. Tell them, Lee. Tell them how much you can't stand my uppity ass. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lee didn't call me an uppity Negro. Call all your friends, Lee, and tell them that the uppityest Negro on YouTube is live right now. Tell them, Lee. Tell them. You wish you could, you could grab my nappy hair and drag me down the street. Lee, I would punch you in your throat. Okay? Lee, you would not make it out of the Bay Area. You wouldn't. So, you better just keep typing. Uppity Negro!
Can't stand you. Shut your black mouth. <laughs> Keep typing, Lee. Because that's all you can do, sweetheart. It probably made your day to call me uppity. You uppity, black, ugly, negro, I can't stand you. And to think I was actually subscribed to your uppity, black ass. <laughs> oh, my God, Lee. You made my day. You made my day, girl. <laughs> Lee, I know Lee hot. Lee mad as hell. Because you know she watching. You know she watching. Lee on here. <coughs> oh, you negro. Lee out here punching the air. Dang, I didn't even know white people were still calling us uppity, though. Y'all still doing that? <laughs> Y'all still out here calling us uppity Negroes? Y'all still think that we can't talk? Lee must be old. She has to be. Lee has to be like in her 60s or something. Because younger white people are more progressive. Lee in her 60s. Lee, oh, she 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 got the spirit. She got this that generational curse on her. The spirit of her Ku Klux Klan ancestors. They probably be riding through her dreams at night. Lee. Did you, is your hood starched? She probably be seeing crosses burning and everything at night. Because you know all them KKKs, their they're, they're descendants are still paying for the stuff that they did. I know they be having nightmares and everything. And if you still have that uppity Negro attitude, you cursed. You you have a generational curse on you. You're a racist. You have you are cursed. Yeah, she probably is. She either in her sixties or seventies. I, I I mean I was born in the sixties. And I have so many stories from my mom of things that happened to her and my dad. So, Lee is probably the ancestor of, of well, the descendant of some of those people that, you know, did my family dirty. And Lita had the audacity. It's the audacity for me. Lena had the audacity to come on here and call me an uppity Negro. Girl, I'm an educated uppity Negro. Okay? Not a ghetto, not not a ghetto food stamp. And and I don't have nothing against people that, you know. Get get what you get. But that ain't me, Lee. I'm one of them smart uppity Negroes. The ones that you really despise. Like, you hate me, Lee. Because I'm one of them educated uppity Negroes. Okay? That that you you go to the, the mayor's ball and you gonna see my nappy-headed butt. God damn, I can't get rid of her. Yes, here she is at the mayor's ball. Oh, my God. Here I am, girl. My husband in his tux, and I'm in my gown. Then been invited to the mayor's ball. Sitting right next to your ass. I'm going to be like, uh-uh, sit me next to Lee. So me and Lee can chit-chat. I'm up here rubbing shoulders with the rich folks. 
Lee ass is one of them trailer living, probably married to her cousin. Them be the ones that really be out here mad at black people because they didn't take advantage of their privilege. Lee probably had some old dusty husband who wasn't worth nothing, who died and ain't left her shit. And then she see me, you up in that Negro. I've been called a lot of things in my life. But the, this the first time that I've been called a uppity Negro. La, 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 said the message that is being given is that black missing persons are not as important as white missing persons. It's a problem. And Lee wants nothing to do with the situation. With the solution, Lee don't want to find no black. Black. Let their black ass stay missing. She probably ran away with some other black ass. She's not missing. She probably ran away. Don't all black teenagers run away anyway? She's 19. She probably ran away with some blacky. Who is on his way to jail. Okay, Shara. I, I'm going to give you the cliff notes. So, Lee came on my channel mad because I said that there was a 19-year-old person, young lady of color, who is Hispanic, uh, missing. And Lee was like, oh, I know you ain't about to go there. And I was like, where, girl? Where am I not going to go? And she was like, there. And I said, where is there? Because I wanted to make sure me and Lee was on the same page. So, honey, Lee told me that where she was going was she's tired of hearing this shit about black people um, missing during the, this whole Gabby situation. So, girl, Lee called me an uppity Negro. You can go back and look at all the comments there on the um the community wall. Just go back and look. Lee called me an uppity Negro, told me I was stupid and everything, girl. Lee out here clowning. And thought I wasn't gonna get on here and dedicate a whole um live to her. Yes, Lee. We gonna roast the hell out of you till I get tired. Yes, Lee, we giving you 15 minutes of fame because you deserve it. You think I'm an uppity Negro and this uppity Negro is going to talk about you like a dog until I get tired. What breaks my heart is that so many black people have developed self-hatred because of all the, all of this, all of, all of this stuff stems from the shit that we have had to endure from white people. Not being able to see ourselves represented on TV. Not being able to see ourselves represented in magazines. Not ever seeing beautiful black women. Do you know how many beautiful black women there are? The only time growing up I ever saw pretty black women was in Jet and Ebony magazine. But I'm talking high fashion, GQ, um, Vanity Fair, Cosmopolitan. All of those only showed white women. And that makes you feel like, uh, are there any, growing up watching TV, commercials, I never, when I finally saw a black person on a commercial on TV, usually the only time that I would see black people on commercials was when I watched Soul Train. Because Soul Train, you know, all of their sponsors and stuff would normally be some type of black product. So, of course, it would be black people in the commercials. But if I'm watching the soap operas, 
Ain't no black people, wasn't no black people in soap operas back in the 70s. It, they were all white. TV shows were basically all white until Good Times and the Jeffersons came on. They had a black uh, cast. But the majority of other shows, all white. Go to the movies, all white people. You, then you start to develop, like, what is wrong with, uh, why? Small noses. Thin lips, flat ass. That was the standard. And we have done everything to try to fit into that standard. And I think it was us trying to fit into that standard so we could be seen. That has damaged us. Can y'all still see me? Because I can't see myself on here. Can somebody put in the chat if you can still see me? Because on here, I'm um, buffering. I can see you. We're in the same house. Am I buffering? No. I'm not buffering? Mm -mm. Okay, thank you. Let me go out and come back. My husband said he could still see me. Mind you, he's right next to me. He should be able to see me. Okay, I'm going to go out and come back in. Maybe it's just my phone. Oh, I think it is. Okay. Um, yeah. So, we have that. We have those issues. And they're deeply, those issues are deeply rooted in us. Deeply rooted. I mean, especially when you have jobs that basically tell you you can't, you know, don't have dreadlocks or, you know, don't, you know, you can't come to work with your natural hair. Like, this grows out of my scalp. Why should I have to straighten it just to come to work? You don't have to straighten yours. It it grows out of my scalp like like this is my hair. Why do you have a problem with it? So then we resort to wigs and perms and, you know, all of this kind of stuff to make us fit in. But y'all don't understand that because you don't want to. You don't want to understand it because then it will really make you take a hard look at yourself. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. What hurts most is when us as black beautiful sisters, I can't see. Cave under the pressure of avoiding each other just to make others comfortable. I mean, some things we do you know, like straightening our hair and wearing wigs, we do that because we feel like we have to. Yeah, me too. I do too. When I see people, I speak, wave, something. So, don't tell me that don't tell me that we, you know, there's no difference in white and black people. Don't tell me that. Because that's only going to make me angry. Yeah, there's no difference. We're, we're both humans on the inside. And on the inside, we look exactly the same. But we're not looking on the inside, though. We can't see the inside because most people are not using their third eyes. They're just using their natural eyes to look at people. And when we look at each other with our natural eyes, we see nothing but difference. Even black people, when we look at each other, we see difference. 
light-skinned blacks, dark-skinned blacks, mixed blacks. You still black. You still black. But there's even that twisted shit in us as black people. We guilty too. But that comes from somewhere. That comes from somewhere. That that shit is deeply rooted. That comes from somewhere. It's deep. Like we are damaged. We are damaged as people. Because we've been hurt so much. And I think it just makes us more angry that y'all don't even give a damn. Like, you don't even see that we out here hurt. And you just don't give a fuck. Because it ain't you. You ain't had to live that life. You lived a life of privilege. So, um, what's her name, child? Lee? Lee, you can go to hell, girl. You can go straight to hell. You and your ancestors. No, I, I, please don't, don't take it, like, because I know all of you are not like that. I, I'm even saying that all, not even all of us. We have our flaws also. So don't take it don't take it like that. It's flaws on both sides. Please don't personalize this. This is to Lee. Your name ain't Lee. Don't take this personal. All this is towards Lee. This don't have nothing to do with you, sweetheart. So don't don't carry that. This for Lee. Okay, this hers. She started this. And I'm going to finish it. So don't don't do that. Don't 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 pick that up cuz this ain't for you. The these shots ain't they ain't going to hit you. They are not towards you. I'm not gunning for you. But I'm saying that this has happened to us so much. And I know that there are allies. I, I do understand that. I, I There are white people in my family. My grandson is biracial. His mother is the whitest of white. So don't, you know, get it twisted that I hate all white people. I know that there are good white people out here. And there are some that I, you know, that I truly love. Like, I, I love my uh, grandson's mom and her family. And they real white. So, yeah, there are some. But then there's the leads. There are people like Lee. Who be out here doing too much still in 2021. And when you come for me, you 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 gon you gonna catch it. You're going to. I have to give it to you. There's no way that I can't give this to you. I just can't. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna give it to you. It's 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 always right there under the surface anyway. Because I'm never not going to wake up and be anything but a black woman. I can't. And it's just sad that people, you know, like Lee are still, like, like, girl, if you know that you have an issue with black people, just stay away from them. That would be my thing. Like, if I didn't like you, I, I, w I wouldn't watch you. 
I wouldn't. If I had those type of feelings, I wouldn't watch you. Like, I have issues with, you know, like, people like Gabby, I would, I don't watch. I don't watch those type of videos on YouTube because I know that that shit is made up. It's a fantasy. All of these, you know, young white girls out here doing the van life and, you know, want hashtag couple goals and all this kind of stuff. That's a fantasy. None of them look happy to me. I don't watch. You know, when, when this whole van life thing first took off, I was watching a few people. But after a while, it just started to look so fake to me. So I stopped watching. People that I don't enjoy, I don't watch. That's why I'm like, Lee, you know deep down in your heart you don't like black people. So why the hell are you watching? Why? Why, girl? Because you didn't know I was an uppity Negro? You thought I was going to stay in my place? You must ain't watched none of my older videos. Because I, I have toned it down a lot. Because I used to get comments all the time. Oh, you just don't like white people. <laughs> oh, you hate me? That's what you say. I used to get those comments every day. Every day. Oh, you just hate, you just hate white people. You hate them. No, I don't. But I'm going to be honest about how I feel. I'm not going to allow you to make me temper myself so that I don't hurt your feelings. Because your feelings ain't no more important than mine. You're, you're not. Okay, Hummingbird, you almost scared me for a minute. Because I was like, oh, you one of them? Because I was, we, we, trying to weed, we, tr we trying to weed those folks out. Because they've been coming over here acting crazy. And for, uh, I got a little, I got a little, you made me a little nervous. You, you you made me a little nervous for a minute. I thought we was going to have to block you, girl. Because those people are bothering me again. For what reason, I have no idea. But I don't want to deal with that. And I don't want to, you know, deal with anybody that is um, associated with her. So, Lee, I hope you're having a good day. And I hope you were able to listen to some of the things that were said and you take those to heart. Because in 2021, every Negro that you run up on is probably going to be an uppity Negro. We all uppity now. All of us. Even the hood ones are uppity. Okay? Ain't no quiet, shy. Okay, Massa. They they all died. This this a new breed. And we want all the smoke. We want it. Them quiet ones, they gone. They they are our ancestors. They gone. This these 2021 Negroes totally different than any you ever had to run up against. We want all the smoke in 2021. We do. I just want to let you know that, Lee, so you can go back and tell your husband if he's still alive. Babe, hmm? do you know somebody called me an uppity Negro? Uppity. Well, well. 
Shara said, I just want to be able to discuss how I've been impacted by racism without being treated like I'm the problem. That's what gets exhausting, having to defend my own broken heart. I could not have put it any better. Chris, you are smarter. Maybe Lee want to learn something from someone who has knowledge and bless you almost. She could have. She could have. But see, Lee had to exert her white privilege and put her foot in her mouth. And then that's where the problem started. Cause we we're not we're not gonna do that here. I the people over here are smart enough and intelligent enough not to cower down when someone says something to them. We don't do that here. I allow everyone to have their opinion until they get disrespectful. Speak. If it's something that you want to know, ask. Just keep it classy. Because once I start to feel some racist undertones, I'm going to call you out on it. And we're going to have a conversation about it. We sure are. Because we're not going to learn how to deal with each other until we can talk about it. We're not. And sometimes these conversations hurt on both sides. You know, that person may say something that's hurtful. I may say something that's hurtful. But at the end, we should come to some type of resolution if it's two intelligent people talking. Now, I ain't called Lee stupid. Lee called me stupid and everything. So I have to, I'm stupid now because I'm standing up for myself. I'm stupid. Oh, if you put the act before the person's name, it'll... You'll see it. I mean, it's not going to highlight. I think the only name that will highlight is mine. That's that's how it shows up on here. But I can see, like, if you want to talk to somebody, you at that person. Ooh, Demona said, it's not our job to teach white people how to treat humans that look different than them. I can show you better than I can tell you, and we are not to be disrespected, period. I think that's the problem, too. We we are just at a point where we're tired of trying to tell you the same thing over and over and over again because you're not listening. You, you know, a lot of white people, they just don't want to hear it. And, you know, we feel like we shouldn't have to teach you that. We shouldn't have to tell you that it ain't no black people on TV. We shouldn't have to keep telling you that no black people are winning Oscars or Emmys. I mean, they even had a hashtag Emmy so white because no black person won an Emmy. So there was no TV shows or anything where a black person was good enough to win an award. So how am I gay if I have a whole husband? You're not being rude. You're being ignorant. Just ignorant. I have a whole husband.
And I'm pretty sure that's one of them ignorant people from the dog groomers channel that don't have anything else to do. And if I was gay, what 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 is the problem? So you you a homophobe? If I was gay, where is the problem in being gay in 2021? You're homophobic? Is that your problem? Because I don't see a problem with being gay. I'm not. But if I was, what would be the problem? See, people are just ignorant. And hummingbird, what happened? I don't, I can't see it. Okay, y'all, come on now. Let's not let's not get up. Let's not get upset. We're gonna go. Okay. We're gonna go with all minds clear. This you know, these conversations are hard to have. They're and they're hard to have on both sides. And if I was a white subscriber and the majority of people on this channel was black and we were having this conversation i probably would just be quiet you know what i mean because it's so easy for people to take sentences the wrong way it's very easy because you know from a sentence you don't get you know tone and inflection, you, you don't totally understand what that person is saying because they're trying to condense what they're saying into a, a small space. And that's hard to do sometimes. So I don't want us to get upset. You know, let's, let's keep our anger towards the person that is directed to. And that's Lee. I mean, I'm glad this conversation came up because now we know that, you know, I I already know that everybody on this channel is not for me. Like some people are just, you know, here to watch and they really do have those feelings. And I'm glad Lee came out and showed us who she really was. So, you know, after today, we can block her ass or she just won't come back. But we'll make sure. I want her to see this live. That's why I didn't block her when I was talking to her. Because I wanted to see this, her to see this live. Because I know she nosy as hell. She probably out there watching now and just ain't saying nothing. And I wanted her to see this. So I didn't block her. But I will after this, you know, comes back up. I'll go and block her then. But I want her to see it. But I don't want us to, you know, get upset with each other. Because I, I, this is something that's difficult to hear. It really is. And there is pain on both sides because, you know, there are people who are our allies who, you know, are trying their best. And it's very hard. It's hard. We we are hurt people. We have been hurt. 
and we are continuously being hurt. And it's hard to penetrate that hurt. Especially when it comes up. Yeah, I am trying. I'm trying to be nice, Phoenix. I really am. I'm trying to be nice because I don't want the, you know, I don't want that email to come. You hate white people. You are racist. I should have never. Ca I don't want that. I'm so sick of that. I don't want that. Now, I don't care if Lee says that. I don't care about that from Lee. Okay. Hummingbird. I don't think I've kicked you, though. I think you're taking, or maybe you're not talking to me directly, but it, you know, okay. But don't, don't take this personal. Don't, don't take this personal. Don't leave here taking this personal. Don't do that. And I know it's hard because it, it, you know, you don't have too many people in this situation on your side. You know, you're kind of like an outsider. Okay, well, maybe in that moment, Phoenix didn't understand where you were coming from. Maybe she didn't understand you. Okay? Okay. Maybe that was just a misunderstanding. And I have told my subscribe my moderators time and time again, if things get funky and you don't like it, you have the ability to block. Instead of I have always told them, instead of arguing, block the person. And we'll sort it out later. Because I have had that happen. I have had people after they've been blocked email me. Explain the situation. I ain't going to go back and unblock you. <laughs> but at least they explain to me what happened. Because I don't always see what's going on in the chat. That's why the moderators are there. And they have been giving specific, detailed instructions. If things go bad in the chat, block them. We'll deal with it later. Don't argue. I don't like people arguing in the chat. Don't argue back and forth. Block them, and I'll go back and try to look at it. And so I'm pretty sure that's where Phoenix's mindset was. She know that I don't like people arguing in the chat. Okay? So don't, don't take that personal. This was a touchy, this was one of those real touchy subjects. You just happen to be the only white person in here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Phoenix. So, I think y'all good. Y'all good. But Phoenix is doing specifically what I asked her to do. I don't want people to argue in the chat. And if something happens, block them and we'll take care of it later. She, she, Phoenix understands the assignment. You know? Yep. Love you. Love you. You know I had bought another salad thing. Okay. You coming home for lunch? Probably not. Oh, okay. Um, no, it's not that you have no business here. It's that this, this was just a touchy... This was one of those touchy subjects. And, you know, when bullets fly, they have a tendency to hit it, anybody. And you probably felt like they were hitting you. And they were not hitting you. So don't, don't take that. 
Tomorrow we will be on something else. Okay? We we be the move on. We're not gonna talk about this tomorrow. We talked about it today. We got it all out. But I am going to tell you this, um, hummingbird. This is how we really feel. Okay? We are hurt. This, this is for real. We're not going to change. We're not going to change our opinion about none of this. We still feel this way. Okay? And if that bothers you to know that deep down inside, that is how Omo Oshun feels, this is going to come up again, probably. And you're going to either have to deal with it when it comes up or say, you know what, I'm going to skip that video. Because, you know, when they talk about race, it gets a little too heated for me. And I'll come back when she talking about crystals or something. That's an option. But when we're talking about white and black people, it, it's going to get tough. It's going to get uncomfortable. And I want it to be uncomfortable. I do. Because we've been uncomfortable for years. We've been we, we uncomfortable. So, if I'm uncomfortable, everybody's going to be uncomfortable. Oh, honey. If Phyllis had been here, if Phyllis don't understand one word, block. <laughs> Phyllis. Phyllis does. Phyllis was like, oh, I didn't understand what she was saying. She said blue, and we was talking about pink. And <laughs> Phyllis, Phyllis like, oh, no, mm -mm. no, they, I thought, no, I thought they, oh, no, I, I'm sorry, I got rid of them. Phyllis, had, Phyllis did play. So, all minds clear. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw one thing. We are not going to talk about the dog groomer. That is in the past. We're not talking about that. So if you if that's why you're here, sucks. Cause we're not talking about that. Oh, okay. Okay. Cause that that ain't happening. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. God loves, you know, God loves us all. I, lo I love people, period. My family is so mixed up. If you ever come to a cookout at my house, you're going to see all kind of people. Filipino, Chinese, Japanese, Laos. White, black, mixed, everybody. And I love all of them. So it's not, oh, she hate these. No. But I hate some of the things that have been done to my people. Yeah, I do. And if it was your if it was your people, you would have that same feeling. You would feel the same exact way that I feel if it was your people. But it's never been your people, so you don't feel that. You, you don't feel that hatred, that hatred and that hurt and pain and anger because it ain't never been your people. Y'all always been on the receiving end it's just different so that's it all minds clear my pastor used to say that all the time all minds clear if they're not clear send me an email and let me know what I did 
but don't start the email off with you hate white people. <laughs> because if you do, I'm not going to read it. Don't start it off with you hate white people. Please. Because I'm not going to read that. But if you have a valid thing that you want to talk to me about, you want me to clear up something, shoot me an email. We can chit chat. But don't come at me with the classic, you hate white people, don't you? Because I don't want to hear that shit. I don't. So, my mouth is dry. My lips then got dry. She's <laughs> Girl, if I get one, I'm sure going to send it to I'm going to forward it to you. Okay? I haven't got one in a long time, though. But that's because I've been so, I've been so nice for a whole year. Like I've been super nice for a whole year. Like you know, I've turned a new leaf. I've really tried to be nice because I got sick of those emails. Like that shit got on my nerves. So, but if you if you hummingbird sweetheart, if you still feeling a certain way. You can email me. We we can chit chat. Yeah, put it, you gonna have to put it at the end. You gonna have to put it in the middle or something. Because if you start out with that, I'm I'm not gonna read it. I'm not. I'm definitely not. You better put it in the footnotes or something. Because if you put it in the, in the, in the, what's the subject line? If you put it in there, I'm, I'm not reading that shit. Uh-uh. I don't want to hear it. Because that's not true. Now, I'm strongly opinionated, but I don't hate you. I'm an uppity negro. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to get a t-shirt now that says uppity negro. No uppity. That's me. I'm gone, y'all. We've been up. Okay. Oh, Lord. How many birds said I'm going to email you? Okay, girl. Lee, Lee on here commenting? No, no. Let it, let it, um, let it. Let the video let the video upload first and let her watch the whole thing and then we'll block her. Cause I wanna make sure she see it. Cause you know her nosy ass watching. Her nosy ass is definitely watching and I know she mad as hell. She probably so mad. I'm just me. I'm I'm not uppity. Uh, this is this is really who I am as a person. Like if you met me in person, this is what you would get. Now, if this is uppity Negro to you, then I'm uppity Negro. Now I ain't no dummy. Okay? If uppity Negro is based on my intelligence. And ability to articulate myself, then down but up in the dig road. So I'm gone, y'all. I know my battery is probably um low. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And we'll be talking about crystals or whatever. Girl, you can't have no delicate heart over here. You can't be del you see now that's where you messed up at. You can't come over here being no little flower because we ain't, mm -mm. you can't be delicate over here. We going to toughen you up. One thing about us, we will, we will definitely toughen you up. You can't be no flower over, you can't be, you can't be no little sweet, dainty flower over here. We will toughen you up. Okay. You you gonna you gonna earn some you gonna earn some stars over here messing with us. We gonna toughen you up, girl. You gonna be a different cookie when you leave us. <laughs> you gonna be a chocolate chip.
chip cookie. <laughs> you gonna go from a sugar cookie to a chocolate chip cookie messing with us, girl. Okay, I'm gone. Cause Gizmo and bark Gizmo barking at the uh probably the mailman or somebody. Gizmo! Cut it out. Yeah, that's the mailman, I think. Cause I hear the truck. The mail truck. You know, we got the type of mailboxes where the mailman don't have to get out the truck. He just pull up in front of your house and put the um, mail in your mailbox. He don't even get out the truck. Because, you know, the truck, the driver's side is on the sh a street. So he just pull up and open your mailbox and put your mail in unless it's a package. But I can always hear him when he um, pulls up and Gizmo can too. Cause he didn't, we didn't have a package. We just had regular mail, I guess. Okay, I'm rambling. I will talk to you guys later. We've been on here 106 minutes, okay? So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. If you gonna send me a, um, girl, where you live? That you don't have house to live? Oh, y'all have those big, um, you have the boxes out. So the mailman just drive up to the box and put, everything in there i live in a development you know so they have to come in they come into it's not gated but it's almost it's close to it it's just no gate there but they drive in and the boxes are just not in the the doors the the boxes are outside Yeah, but I'm in Cali. Northern. Northern California. Okay, y'all. I will see you guys later. I love you. My sister-in-law is texting me, so I got to see what she talking about. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? I love you. Bye.